Hey, push people! Today we'll be talking about the Plessy versus Ferguson trial. In short, this Supreme Court ruling declared the separate but equal doctrine constitutional. This is considered one of the worst Supreme Court rulings in United States history. Let's talk about that. In 1892, Homer Plessy, a Creole, decided to defy the separate car act and sit in the white car. He could have easily passed for white because he was only one-eighth black, but according to state law, he was considered black and therefore was required to sit in the colored car. To assist this injustice, he continued to sit in the white car while identifying himself as black. Authorities arrested him on the spot and sent him to jail. At a state trial, Plessy complained that the Separate Car Act violated the 14th Amendment, which granted all natural-born Americans citizenship and full and equal protection of all laws. But John H. Ferguson, the judge presiding over the trial, ruled in favor of the state law. Four years later, in 1896, this case was brought up again at a Supreme Court ruling and the Separate but Equal Doctrine was officially declared constitutional by a 7-1 to majority. As the civil rights movement began to pick up, this ruling became more controversial and was eventually overturned in the Brown v. Board of Education of Topeka in 1954. It was concluded that in the field of public education, the doctrine of separate but equal had no place, and that separate educational facilities were inherently unequal. So why is Plessy v. Ferguson so important in U.S. history? It shows that even though slavery was abolished 27 years earlier, racial discrimination had not ended with it. Federal and state governments continued to make laws preventing equal opportunities for Af African Americans. Ultimately, with the rise of Jim Crow laws and segregation, the separate but equal doctrine set back civil rights in the United States for decades to come. So now let's review with the timeline. In 1865, the Emancipation Proclamation was passed, as well as the 13th Amendment. A year later, in 1866, the 14th Amendment was passed, which granted all natural-born Americans citizenship and full and equal protections of all laws. In 1892 was Plessy's state trial, and then later, in 1896, was the Supreme Court trial. Finally, in 1954, the separate but equal doctrine was overturned in the Brown v. Board of Education trial. So hopefully now you know a little bit more about the Plessy versus Ferguson trial. Till next time!